data from the World Health Organization indicates that one in 100 children lives with autism globally. Autism is a lifelong neurological condition that manifests during early childhood, irrespective of gender, race, or socioeconomic status. To celebrate the achievements of neurodiverse people everywhere, we spotlight Kanyinya Chukutabu, a young Nigerian boy living on the autism spectrum who loves the art of painting. He met all his milestones, and but the only thing that wasn't okay was the speech. Uh, he wasn't talking, so that was a bit of a concern for us. And then we took him to a pediatrician and said, "Oh, boys don't talk early." But um, by the time we compared him to other children at that age that could talk, and our friends that have kids his age, they come to the house and the way they express themselves, we knew that yes. Um, something was not right and we needed to uh, take it further and do proper diagnosis. Yes, of course there are times where I wasn't happy with his behavior but I had to learn to calm down because of course he's autistic. I had to learn to calm down and try and talk to him and if, it's, if I'm not getting to him is to pet him in a way because he's still my brother at the end of the day. The narrative around autism is globally moving away from misconceptions of curing to embracing the concept of neurodiversity. One of the challenges people with autism have today is inability to socialize because you're keeping them behind closed door. You don't know what the potentials they have. You don't bring them out for them to get um, this intervention. So the earlier you bring them out for intervention, the earlier you start seeing changes and please, do not put them behind, like um, the team of today's exhibition says, no child should be left behind. Appropriate support, accommodation and acceptance of this neurological variation allow those on the spectrum to enjoy equal opportunity and full and effective participation in society. Really, really proud of, of Kanye and um, what, he's, uh, what he's achieving. And this is a message that we need to communicate to, to the world at large. Parents of uh, kids with special needs uh, need support and the government uh, has an obligation to provide uh, that support. And, um, and I think that it's something we have to keep pressing. We celebrate God in the gift uh, of Kanye and uh, the gift he has. Uh, and, um, and that is why we use it as much as possible to be able to advocate and let people know that um, children with special needs are, are also gifted. But it also has to take a lot of work for you to be able to harness that gift. Chukuma Ekubiri, Arise News, Abuja.